If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Many of you will be working on JMeter and quite a few people might be getting started with JMeter and there are performance testers I have seen they would like to move from testing to DevOps or SysOps stream. From my opinion, it is best always to learn one commercial tool and one open source tool with respect to performance or automation or security or any types of testing. So in this video, we are going to see about a book called Master Apache JMeter from load testing to DevOps. This book has been authored by three prominent personalities in JMeter community. So let us jump and see what's in the box. Master Apache JMeter. To purchase this book, you need to visit leanpub.com and search for JMeter. So this is the only book available if you type a keyword JMeter. So basically two versions, one is in French and one is in, in English. So we're going to see about English version because I got this book for a free of cost for my honest review. So I'm just putting a disclaimer here. As you see in the screen, it is for people who are willing to learn JMeter. You want to excel in JMeter and also you want to learn from load testing to DevOps. So this book is available at the cost of uh, $35, but Philip is very kind and is willing to offer a small discount for QA Insights readers and uh, viewers. So if you use this link in the description, you will get uh, $5 knocked off. So only you will pay $20. So only for 30 people till November 16th. So please hurry up and check it out this book. You'll be definitely satisfied. So now if you see in the screen, uh, if you're uh, about to buy this book, you can uh, read the free samples and also we are, uh, you can uh, read the table of contents. And one thing to notice, this book is only 80% complete, but uh, it will be completed eventually. So the last updated, uh, it was around uh, October 23rd. But uh, I hope in next couple of weeks, this book will be available 100%. So now let us see what's there in the table of contents and uh, what is my opinion on the uh, uh, book contents. So let us jump to table of contents. So this book, uh, it starts with very basics, how to uh, download and uh, how to uh, record. So that's the fundamental blocks of uh, learning JMeter, so recording the uh, session and uh, how to uh, record the simple script and how to set up your test and how you will be uh, executing the test. So as a typical uh, book, any other any book in JMeter, it starts with uh, the very basics. Then it is uh, discussing about the types of uh, testing. So it is not about only about JMeter. This book touches all parts of performance testing. So types of performance testing, uh, protocols, and how do you uh, structure the report? So how do you design the uh, scenario, basically? And uh, as I mentioned, types of load test. It starts with load test, uh, stress test, what is stress testing, endurance, uh, failover, spike, and other types of testing. And also it, it discussed about a model, workload model. So how you have to design your workload model, whether you want to choose closed model or open model, and some formulas are there, and the uh, uh, basic structure of a test case, how you want to design your uh, uh, ultimate third group your ultimate third group or standard third group whatever it is uh, ramp up how many minutes uh, st uh, st steady state uh, ramp down and also it also g gives a lot of yarn about how you will be identifying the uh, scripts to load so if you have a e-commerce application you might not do a testing like a manual uh, test business cases so you need to pick up the right ones and then you need to proceed with uh, scripting and execution. And also it touches very basics about the uh, uh, 
um, some uh, for example um, uh, virtual users how many virtual this is a very common questions uh, you will ask when you get started with jmeter or any other performance testing how many users i need and um, how many pacing you need or how much the duration and how to adjust your uh, workload model to achieve the maximum uh, throughput and uh, also it discusses about the uh, basic samplers like uh, csv uh, data parameterization um, caching cookies and uh, results so everything so whenever you see some concept so it you can easily correlate in jmeter so what would be the case uh, how do you design that particular stuff in jmeter so everything is clearly explained with uh, uh, beautiful screenshots and relevant uh, uh, information about the screenshot and also uh, it it talks about the environments so how how you can set up your uh, load generators how do you distribute your load um, the master slave concept and uh, some tips about memory management so everything in detail with uh, relevant screenshots in place so it is quite easy uh, to follow so i don't see any bits and pieces here and there it is everything is uh, uh, neatly uh, sequential ar- arranged all the chapters so that you you can follow the uh, uh, the pattern but i, I prefer uh, do not skip any chapters because you may not be able to correlate so i suggest you to read by uh, chapter by chapter page by page and if you are already know about some basics you may skip but uh, i would prefer to read all the chapters in the sequential order and also uh, once you uh, done with couple chapters uh, three to five chapters then uh, it talks about uh, more in detail so how you can uh, uh, excel in uh, jmeter by incorporating lot of best practices tips and tricks here and um, how do you debug your script how to write uh, code uh, using uh, js or 2t3 sampler so a lot of stuffs uh, there and also uh, if you just scroll down here you can see uh, the best practices uh, this is a, this has a lot of uh, information how do you simulate a realistic load how do you test with byte man um how do you use j profiler how, how to you can trick uh, captchas so these are pretty uh, useful and you may not you may not see uh, in the uh, um internet so you need to read these chapters if you want to excel more and um, how much jmeter can do for your performance testing and also it doesn't talk about only about http it also explains about web services what is uh, so what is uh, rest and how do you how you can set up or design the tests uh, for the soap and rest in jmeter so if you are using soap ui or uh, postman definitely you can check it out these chapters if you want to switch to uh, open source uh, for web services performance testing and also it talks it talk, uh, talks about J, uh, jms uh, java messaging services how you can uh, test your uh, messaging services so before it it starts about jmeter it is always uh, explains what it is and uh, some little bit history about that then it goes to jmeter related topics so again here also they have discussed about the uh, how to configure the mom server how to what is the performance of your jms uh, publish uh, subscribe pub sub stuff and you can uh, how you can test any uh, mom so basically it it talks in detail in depth which will definitely you can apply in your day to day project uh, activities and uh, also it talks about the devops related stuff so when the chapters goes uh, on you can uh, uh, get to know about taurus uh, maven uh, jenkins and so how you can integrate jmeter with these powerful tools and also uh, mainly how to analyze the results so how you can uh, create a beautiful graphs uh, charts and uh, how you can aggregate how you can merge and also a lot of uh, tips how you can uh, um, gen uh, uh, the tips which will help you to analyze the results more efficiently and uh, in the last chapter uh, they have discussed about uh, uh, ci integration ci cd uh, how you can uh, create a reliable pipeline for your enterprise in jmeter using the uh, tools available in the market so this book is uh, definitely a must read for uh, 
people who are interested in jmeter and who are willing to learn jmeter so instead of uh, going through a lot of articles a lot of video tutorials just get this book and you can uh, read in your leisure time images definitely will be helpful uh, so that you can practice a little bit so uh, one thing uh, i uh, i feel the stuff is missing is uh, uh, database stuff in this red not much about uh, database testing is available in this books probably they can uh, add it in future uh, database stuff that is uh, quite m missing and another stuff uh, is missing is related to uh, client side testing uh, so how you can use a selenium web driver for uh, testing the single page application so those uh, stuffs are missing might be they might be adding uh, for the future uh, release so so please do check it out please uh, Uh, use the link in the description so that you will get uh, five dollars off and five dollars off in this book. So that's it, guys, from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to Q A Insights channel.